Hello student, this is Dr. Howard and I want to review with you on some of these skills so you can be ready for your exam uh, in um, our grammar class. So the first one is the verb to be. Now, the verb to be has many forms. So first of all, you have to use am. Okay, M is present. So M is present. So you have to use with I. I am. Okay, so for example, I am a dentist. So together, I am a dentist. I am. Now, so how do you know it's present or not? So then I will put I am a dentist in 2019. Then this will become the present. The present, I am. Okay? Now, so we will change this to was. Was is the past. The past is last year, last month, last week. So I can say, I was a dentist in 2018. So 2019 is the present, and 2018 is the past. So for M, you have to use with I, I am present, I was past. Okay? So I am, I was. This is for I. Now, he, she, it. He, she, it. So, he, she, it, you have to say is or was. Okay, for example, John is cooking now. Remember now. Now is 2019. So John is, John is, is cooking now. So I can change this to 2018. So this is now, now is the present. Okay, so I can say John was cooking in 2018. See? This is the past. So, John is present. John was past. Now, we're going to have you we and they. These are the pro, these are the plural. So let's say if you have young and men. Two people. So this would become J. Now if I have Layla and you. Layla and you, you singular, this will become you plural. Okay? So now, if I say Nyung Min Tong and I. So now I have one, two, three, four people. Well, 
this is they, this is I, together become we. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about this. So if I say Sarah and Hua, okay, Sarah and Hua are friends in 2019. Remember, 2019 is present or past. If you say present, you are correct. So, this right here becomes they. They are. Now, I can change to um, three, um, two, and Susanna were friends in 2018. Now 2018, is this present or past? If you say this is the past, then you are correct. So it's present and it's day, you have to say are. Okay? They are. Now, if it's three people, it's become they. But it's in the past, so you say they were. They were. Okay? Now, if I change to um, Howard Kim Nung and you So Howard Kim Nung and you So you have they and you Together this become you plural. So this is present or past. If you say present, you are correct. So you what? You are. Okay? Now, I will keep the same thing. And I say you and I. So now it's no longer you. It's they, you, and I. Together, so is this the past or present? Past, right? So if this is the past, if this is the past, and this right here, because it's, this is they, this is you, and this is I. Put together, become we. So, we were friends in 2018. We were friends. So, when you want to use you, we, they, you have to use are for present and were for the past. Now, what about future? So, future would be in 2018, 2020. So this is the future. So the, for the future, everybody, I, he, she, it, you, we, they, it doesn't matter. The future of to be going to be, will be. Will be, okay? Or you can use to be plus going to plus a verb. Okay? So, I'm going to give you a quiz. And I want you to use the form of to be and complete these uh, statements.
Okay, so I have three sentences here, and I want you to use to be to complete this. So I will give you about two minutes. Jam a kindness in 2017. Christina and I talking in 2019. We traveling in 2020. Present or past or future? Present or past or future? Present or past or future? So, now, how many people? How many people? How many people? So if you say Chen was, then you are correct. Because in the past, if you say are, then you are absolutely amazing. This is the future, so you can say uh, will be traveling. Will be traveling. Okay? So um, if you have was, are, will be, then you are correct. Congratulations. So again, to be, to be, these are the forms of to be. I am present, I was past. He, she, it, is, present, past, was. You, we, they, are, present, past, were. Now, let's discuss about the next concept. Which is this, that, these, and those. Okay? So, now, this and that is one thing. So, I have a heart, and I have a heart. Now, I'm standing right here. I can touch this. I can touch it. My hand, I can touch. Over there, uh, I cannot touch. So it's that. This. That. So because I can touch, it's very close to me. Well, I cannot touch. So then, it's over there. It's over there. Okay? I live in the United States. This is my country. I was born in Vietnam, but I cannot travel to Vietnam right now. So that, Vietnam, that is over there. That was my country. So now, I have two hearts. So, I have two hearts. So, this is one, but then these and those are two. Sit together. These, these, those. So, these and those are two. Now, this and these this is touch. You can touch. However, that and those, you cannot touch. I can touch this. I can touch these. I cannot touch that. I cannot touch those. So, this together this that I cannot touch together those this this that those okay so I 
see. I can touch her. So this or that. If you say this, you are good. I can touch her. So this. Now. So the lady is over there. She's over there. Uh, can I touch her? No. So I say I see what? That lady. I see that lady. I cannot touch her. So it's over there. So it's that lady. So I cannot touch her. So it's that. Now, what happens if I see two ladies over there? Two attractive, two beautiful ladies. I cannot touch. I cannot come close. So I say, I see those ladies. Now, I have to make this plural, okay? I have to make this plural. I see those ladies. I cannot touch. Okay? Now, again. I see if I can touch, then I say, I see this heart. Now, I have two hearts I can touch. I can touch. So I can say, I see these, these. Okay, it's together. This, these, that. Those again, this, 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 this pronounced like da. So, this, though, these. Okay, very good. Again, this, that, these, those. Okay, so let's see how you are. Okay, so let's practice. Okay. Now, Raphael sees teacher. Rafi Bravo sees teacher. See, you see here, teachers, no S. So, then it's how many teacher? Singular, right? So, you are correct. So, it's singular, that means one. So, you can, you can say hello. You are very close to the teacher. You can touch the teacher. You can shake hand with the teacher. So, this or that? This or that? If you say this, then you are correct. If you say that, then you are correct. Now, you see right here, teachers, teachers, they are plural, so they are plural, so you no longer use this or that, so you have to use these or those, so see here the teachers, I'm right here, but the teachers are over there, I cannot touch, I'm right here, but the teachers next to me, I can touch, I can shake hand, so what are you going to use? Choose these 
are those. Excel sees teachers. Diego sees teachers. So are you going to use these or those for which one? No touch, very far. Touch, very close. If you say, I see those teachers, then you are correct. If you say, Diego sees these teachers, then you are correct. Those, these. So let's practice and see where you are, okay? So you have candies, okay? So candies, for example, these are the candies, and you can eat. Here you have cars, but cars, okay? So here you can touch. Here, no touch. Here you can touch, here no touch, okay? So, fat, this is a person, his name is fat, is eating egg. You know egg? Where does egg come from? If you say eggs come from um, a chicken, then you are correct. Do you like chicken? I used to eat chicken, but not anymore. Maria was eating apples. Now, remember, is present was past. Maria was eating apples. Apples over there, no touch. Egg over here, touch. Francis and Nan were eating candies. Two people were pass. You can touch the candies. Digma and Florence will buy. Will buy. What tense of the verb is this? Wow. If you say future, then you are correct. Will buy cars over there. I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, which is in Vietnam. And I'm traveling to Da Nang. So it's very, very far. So I cannot touch the car. OK, 
Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna give you one minute. All right, so how many egg touch? If you say this, then you are correct. This. Now, plural, no touch. Okay, plural, no touch. So then you have to say those. Okay, now, candies, touch, then you say these. Cars is plural, no touch, so you say what? Those. If you have these correct, you are super. Like a superman, a superwoman, um, Captain America. Do you know Captain America? Okay. So you are wonderful if you understand this, those, these, and that. Okay? Now, let's talk about subject pronoun. Subject pronoun. Okay, so what are the subject pronouns? So let's say uh, I know of David. Okay, I know of David. Uh, I know of Ngam. Okay. Uh, I know of Jenny and I know of um, T. David is a man because David is a man so we change to he. He is the subject pronoun. Ngam is a lady, we're going to say she. She is the subject pronoun. Jenny and T, it doesn't matter, man or woman. So you have two people, so we're going to change to they. Subject pronoun. I'm talking to you. You listen to me, so me become I. You and I become we. Then I'm talking to a dog, I'm talking to a cat, I'm using a marker, so this is called it. Because it is not a person. I'm talking to it, that means I'm talking to the phone. So he, she, they, you, I, we, it. These are called subject pronoun. When you speak, when you write, you have to begin a sentence with a subject. It can be a noun or pronoun. So for example, I can say, Nyung is a college student. Now, if I don't want to, to use Nyung, which is a man, I can change this to He. He is a college student. Now, I can use Jenny is an architect. Say together, architect. Do you know what an architect is? Okay, maybe you need to Google that if you don't know, okay? So architect, let's say you're going to build a house from scratch, or you're going to build a school, or you're going to build a, uh, a road for people to drive. Well, before you can build, you need to draw, you need to have a plan. 
So the architect is the person who does that. Okay? So now, Jenny is an architect. If I don't feel like using the word Jenny, I can change to she. She is an architect. So you see here, this is my sentence. My sentence begins with a subject, and I have to have a verb. Together, this is called a predicate. That's what a sentence needs to have. So a subject can be a noun, which is Jenny. I don't want to use Jenny, then I can use pronoun, which is she. I am writing now. What is the subject? The subject is I. Okay, so this is called the subject pronoun I am. Okay, so again, he, she. He and she make they. She and I make we. He and you make you. These are called the subject pronoun. So let's practice and see how you are. Okay? Um, So, Lisa is a chef. Chef cooks very well. What pronoun can you use for Lisa? Mr. Huan is a boss. Remember, I'm using the American English. So the American English has a period. Whereas the British English does not need to have a period. So you can say Mr. or Mr. Just like that, okay? So, Mr. Huan is a boss. Change Mr. Huan, which is a noun, to a pronoun, is a great boss. Lisa and Huan are people. Change Lisa and Huan to subject pronoun, are nice people. So, if you change this to she, then you are perfect. If you change this to he, you are terrific. If you change this to they, you are amazing. Okay? So, very good. So, I'm going to give you a quiz and see how you progress with this um, presentation about to be Adjet demonstrated adjectives and subject pronouns.
Okay, so I have four sentences here. So let's see if you can put a, the verb to be or the um, demonstrated adjective or the subject pronoun. So Okay. I, a surgeon now. Surgeon is a person who operates in the surgery room. So let's say you or someone has an accident and need to have an operation where the doctors need to cut, then you will have a surgery by a surgeon who is a medical doctor. We, the best people in 2017. Fee and Calvin learn English, want to speak English, is my friend, he is near me. So I'm going to give you two seconds. Actually, one minute. Time is money. So, now, if you say I am, you are absolutely correct. This is the past, so we were. Then you are terrific. Fee and Calvin, two people you change today. Then that's a correct. Now, he is near me. So because he is near me, so you have to say, this is my friend. I hope you learned something. This is Dr. Wynn, Dr. Howard. Have a good night.